Hello, hello, welcome back. So happy to see you. I know it's been a hot minute, but let's go ahead and talk about what else we can do with moon water. So I, this is my moon water from the Pisces new moon. And I've been a little bit more active on my Instagram and TikTok, so I apologize to my YouTubers. Um, let's get started. So first things first, we'll need a little spray bottle. And I literally got this at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Now this one I'm making special for my sister who um, suffers from anxiety. So this one's going to be especially for her. Okay, so right now I am lighting my incense. So what you wanna do is of course, wash your container and then we are going to purify it or, and kind of set our intention. So right about here. How's everyone's day today? I actually got vaccinated. Look at me. Happy St. Patty's Day. There we go. Here we go. All right. So I'm just setting my intention. This spray I'm making for my sister is to help her with her anxiety. So just setting my intention that when it's used, it will red or help aid her in her anxiety. Perfect. Okay. All right. Here we go, the fun part. So now that I have my smoke cleansed container, I am going to be using jasmine buds and my lavender. Okay, these are lavender buds. If you have regular lavender, that works too, of course. And then moon water. What I'm going to add special for my sister and you, if you have um, clear quartz, you can add those too, but what I'm going to do is add some moonstones, some little moonstones. Now these, these little stones are how are to promote strong feminine energy and intuition. And that's what I personally want to send to her. And I almost forgot. I'm actually going to add some lemon essential oil as well. Okay. Make sure that you are good with your essential oils. Um, test it out first so that you know you don't have a reaction. Now be careful with lemon. You don't wanna to use too much because that can almost heighten your anxiety if you use too much. Um, so just a few dashes. I'm only gonna do a few, especially because I have a little container. What we're gonna add first are our crystals. Please always make sure that your crystals can go in the water, that they are water safe. Moonstones are, I'm gonna put a few. I like the sound when you shake everything up. Okay, so moonstones, jasmine buds. Jasmine and lavender have been known to have nice calming um, effects for those who suffer from anxiety. So, so I'm adding these, I'm just gonna add them straight in. If you have a, a funnel to kind of put things in, that'll help. These are just, the, the flower buds, so they're pretty easy to manage. But if you were if we were working adding like rosemary salt, just so we don't make a, a hot mess for us to clean later, I would advise to use a funnel. And you have a few more. Let's not be shy here. Okay. Even so, this could have worked. Okay, so I have my moonstones, my lavender buds. I mean, my jasmine buds, excuse me. Now lavender. Now with this, these are a little bit smaller, so I would have used my funnel. And I'm just adding them straight in. Wow, I made to little to no mess there. So, and I am going to add. Um, Two rosebuds for love. 
just that I'm sending her love, sending her some good intentions um, right in the bottle there. There we go. Isn't she cute? Tell me that's not cute. Okay, now my essential oils, like I said, this is a smaller bottle, so I don't want to add too much. Um, I, on the other hand, I love lemon. I love this smell. Oh, so good. Just in there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. That's that's good enough. This was a good, vigorous little shake. Shake with love and intention. Oops. I like to close everything up as I go. I'm a clean as you go kind of girl. So we got all of our goodies in there. And now to add the moon water. Actually, this I am going to use my phone because I don't trust myself. I don't trust myself. So just like this, pour her in. Perfect. Now we just give this a couple of shakes and it's good. She usually likes to uh, either walk around or roam around or she has like her weighted blanket. We can kind of just spray, spritz this in the air. Just taking that deep breath, try to, you know, have a calm ourselves basically is what we're trying to do, right? When we're having anxiety, just kind of calm our mind, sit, meditate. If you have a palm stone, that'll also help. Maybe some amethyst, something that'll... You can have tangible in your hand that you can kind of hold and mold. But this is another way that you can utilize your moon water. Um, like I said, you can water your plants with it. You can, um, if you hear my, my parrot, give it to your animals, your pets. Um, I actually used it today in my, I had, I'm swept in mop today and I used it in my mop water. So moon water can go a long way. And actually, like I said, can have it in your tea or coffee or drink it straight up. Hmm. So that is my little mini version of what else you can do with your moon water. Um, hit that subscribe button, shoot me a comment. If you have any questions, um, please feel free. I, I would love to share my knowledge and what I know with you. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook under the Dance Tarot Witch, that's W-H-I-C-H, -H, play on words on the witch. And I hope to see you around this time, next time. <laughs> Bye guys.